Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here and welcome back to World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade Classic. We have a bunch of quests to turn in straight away today, so let's go ahead and take care of that. And we have a follow-up to the Blood Fury quest. Limiting the number of Blood Fury Harpies will not be enough. The only true cure for their disease would be to slay their leader, Blood Fury Ripper. She is all but a queen to those filthy creatures. Slay her, and their numbers will surely diminish. Go back into the Charred Vale, and you will find her along the western hills. She will not be easy to vanquish, but the reward will be great. I, I think we did see her. Go to it. This is a great victory for the land. In time, other things will come to pass. The Venture Company will pack up their buzz saws and axes. The angry fire spirits will calm, and the harpies will be pushed out by the land. Only then will Stone Talon be truly at peace. You have done well, Paladin. Take one of these items as thanks for the new life you have created here today. Uh, let's see. Hey! Strength and stamina. That is going to be an upgrade. All right, very cool. And the Incendiarites quest went to the Water Elemental, right? That was up behind the inn. I didn't see it up here on the mini-map, but maybe I missed it. Oh yeah, there he is. The water spirits within me bubble with excitement. Okay. You have given me a glorious victory to report to the Tribunal of Tides. And that's it. Okay, let's take a look at where that leaves us. We need to get the Super Reaper 6000 blueprints from a Venture Company operator. We need to kill both Shredding Machines. I thought we had one more quest. Oh yeah, we have Deep Moss Spider Eggs. Okay, well... It looks like we're gonna go back into Windshear Crag, actually. That looks like where we have to go. Oh, we have an unspent talent point. We could increase the damage of our Seal of Righteousness and Judgment of Righteousness by 9% by putting another point in Improved Seal of Righteousness, or... What we should do is probably continue down the Rut Tree, because eventually we do want to get Crusader Strike. Not that that's going to happen for a while. And we'll just take another point in deflection. We'll do three points in deflection. That'll get us down to the next tier of talents. Uh, once we are there, let's take a look. Vindication gives the Paladins damaging melee attacks a chance to reduce the target's attributes by 5%. Conviction... Increases your chance to get a critical strike with your melee weapon by 1% up to 5%. Seal of Command. Gives the Paladin a chance to deal additional holy damage equal to 70% of normal weapon damage. Unleashing the Seal's energy will judge all... Will judge an enemy, instantly causing 60-65 holy damage. Okay, I'm not sure about any of these. I'm assuming we want to go into Conviction. Just because it leads into into vengeance. Oh, who are you guys? Okay, yeah, we don't want to take the shortcut there. Let's. Uh, we could have taken the shortcut up here though, which is probably what we should do. Yeah, I guess we'll go into conviction.
Crusade is interesting. It increases damage caused against humanoids, demons, undead, and elementals. So not beasts, not dragons. Basically just not beasts and dragons, right? Uh, that being said, we, we fight a lot of beasts. Hmm. Very interesting tree. Some strange talents in here. Alright, let's focus on getting some deep moss spider eggs while we head north. And the Deep Moss Spider Eggs, that quest actually turns in back in a Ratchet, but we do have the Flight Point, so that won't be a problem. Okay, that spawned some enemies. Alright, we'll get more on the way out. For now, let's see if we can find some operators to have a chance at them dropping the blueprints. And we need to look for the two shredding machines. One of them was kind of just around the front area. We've run into it before. Uh, it was over this way. And we'll try to avoid some of these guys because they're not all worth experience. Yeah, I think one of the shredding machines patrols somewhere around here, right? And there are operators up on these giant immobile machines. I guess it would be really useful if we had Blessing of Might up. Oh, there are the blueprints. Okay, well that was easy. We we killed a couple of them before and it hadn't dropped, so... And so really all we need now is to find the shredding machines. Besides running into the one out front the one time, I, I, I have no idea where they're at. I guess we try to just look around and every once in a while we'll do a slash target. Well, we're discovering new stuff. That's good, right? Not finding these shredders, though. The good the good thing is that we're out level for this area, so we haven't even pulled anybody yet. Let's see how long we can keep that up while looking around. Oh, 
Oh, look, there's spider eggs over here, too. Let's go grab these. No reason not to. Okay, I see one of them down there. There's XT4 right uh, to the south of us here. Let's finish off this hatchling and then we will go take it out. That was really lucky now, wasn't it? And now we need XT9, which was probably the one that we had previously fought out front to the north of us here. But let, let's kind of circle around the area. And we did end up getting the last of our deep moss spider eggs, so that's done. Alright, uh, not seeing him yet. Let's do another slash target. Nothing coming up, but it didn't wor work for us before either, and then he just kind of appeared behind us, so... Alright, well, we've now circled the entire area, so I'm going to do some more looking around on my own. And so basically, as it turns out, the XT9 can spawn anywhere on this portion of the area south of the river and in one spot up here by the mill. So yeah, you it can literally spawn almost anywhere. That's why the one time we just found it up near... Uh, the entrance to the area because that's one of the places that it can spawn out of many 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 places oh, i did happen to run into a goblin merchant over in the mountain so we were able to empty some of our inventory out it was in dire need of it and uh still haven't found xt9 anywhere we did equip a pair of leather shoulder pads we had a pair of cloth shoulder pads on so the leather was an upgrade Unfortunately, that's as good as it is right now for our shoulder slot. Well, 
We'll come over here and we'll get the mining node and we'll have a little look around. We're up on a hill here, so it's a good vantage point. Let's head all the way over into the corner here just to rule everything out. Uh, we are being attacked. We are not going to stand for that. So there's actually like an entire mine over here, and I'm I'm trying to rack my brain, and I, I don't think we ever get sent into this, do we? Are there quests that send us into these mines? Because from what I can see, there are two different mines in this area, and I don't remember ever doing quests in either of them. And if there are quests to go into them, I'd love to know where they're at, because I would love to do them. Yeah, I mean, this person is fighting into this mine, and there are kobolds in here. And they're Windshear Geomancers, so they're not part of the Venture Company. Oh! There's a quest in here. Um... Okay. It's very likely this is going to be an incredibly annoying uh, escort quest, but since I've never done it before, I think we're going to try to get to the bottom of this cave. And try to take this quest. And I realize we're probably going to want to stop for a second here and get our mana back. Let's bandage up a bit. I'm kind of worried that we're not down far enough and that this area is not going to let us go down. We might have to explore a little bit more to figure out how to get down here. Uh, because, yeah, over here... I'm not seeing a way. We're gonna have to start being a little bit more careful if we don't want to get killed down here. Yeah, I, I don't think this is the way we want to go. I'm going to say maybe we loop around this way. Yeah, so the way that the other paladin went. Which is fortuitous because it looks like they've kind of cleared the way for us here. Oh, wait, wait, what's going on here? Uh, yeah, I can't help them. I don't think I can help them. I think that I'd probably get myself killed. Let's see what's happening over here. Uh, you know what? She's holding her own. A 
Let's see if we can help out. Oops. There we go. I didn't really want both of these guys, especially seeing as how we don't have any mana, but that's okay, we have help now. Alright, now we'll get some mana back before we continue on. Well, they don't have any mana themselves, so maybe we ought to jump in here. Let's make sure we loot. I was once second most important person here at this site. That all changed when Garenzo took one. over. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, maybe if we can find it here. Wait, was it not an escort quest? Keep Penzik safe. Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, keep him safe. So we're protecting this guy. Fair enough. Ziz Physics, uh, let's see, that all changed when Garenzo took over, fired my boss, Ziz Physics, and sent me down to work in the mines. Ziz told me to stay here and gather information though. His new boss will pay us well if we can find out what Garenzo's plans are. Anyways, what I do know is that Garenzo has ordered a large amount of gold green ore to be mined. I can get you a sample to bring to Ziz, but you'll have to watch for patrols while I get it. Well, that's cool. That's a lot cooler than an escort quest. I'm kind of like wondering, are the waves just really spaced out though, or did we bug it? Hey, how you doing? Hmm. I don't know. Usually it would say failed, I would think, if something weird happened. But, having said that, we haven't gotten another wave yet. Oh, here we go. Alright, I'm gonna go for the mages. Perfect, perfect. Let's get some mana back this time so we can cast some spells when the next wave comes. Yeah, we'll we'll get you with might as soon as we uh as soon as we stand up here.
I mean, I will say the waves could be a little closer together because either you're going to be able to handle it or not. And it does seem like uh, you would want to be in a group to do this because they're spawning four guys at a time. The last time two of them were casters and two of them were melee, that's going to rip apart basically anybody on their own who's not grossly outleveled for the area. And here comes the next wave. So that's three waves. Is, is there going to be four waves? It's quite a quest. I like this style of quest. I just wish the waves would come a little bit quicker. And I think it's funny that even after the Burning Crusade updates and everything, that this still isn't... It hasn't been nerfed and it isn't marked as a group quest or anything. So if you took this on by yourself, uh, uh, you'd be killed. You'd be doing a little spirit run to think about where you went wrong. And if you guys know, I would love to know if there's another quest that actually takes you here. Because we just kind of decided to come in here. We didn't have a reason to come in here. We saw there was a quest. But I'm... Oh, look at that. Complete. Yo. Thanks. It was looking a little dicey there for a second. And we've probably drawn far too much attention to ourselves. The important part is that we have the ore sample though. And we should get it to Ziz as soon as possible. Deliver the unidentified ore to Ziz. Okay. Be good. We can do that. And we don't have to escort him out, which is awesome. Uh, we do have to fight our way out, so we're going to stay grouped up. Oh no, okay. All right, let's go ahead and we'll get some uh, health and mana back. Uh, wow. Uh, those are an upgrade. I'm going to roll neat on them and equip them. Very cool. So we've gotten some new gloves. We've gotten some new boots. Uh, let's see. How are we getting out of here? Honestly, I don't know. So this way is as good as any way, I guess.
Let's just fight our way totally clear of this place. We do need to run all the way out to Ziz's hut. So we could probably do that on our own though. Oops, we'll learn how to type. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll head out of here. We'll keep our eyes open for the other machine on the way, but I do want to get the blueprints turned in. We can eventually get down to Ratchet and turn in the Deep Moss Spider Eggs. I'm kind of wondering if soon it's going to be time for us to head into Hillsbrad. These are the last two green quests that we have. If we need to, we can come back for the other robot at some other point. But we'll keep our eyes open here as we work our way out. He could be basically anywhere south of the river. Oh, and speak of the devil. There he is. Alright, well that is perfect actually. I, I couldn't have asked for it to go better. I got to see a new quest that I'd never seen before. We found both of the shredders, no problem. All right, let's head over to Ziz, see what kind of follow-up he has for us. And we'll just ignore everybody else in this area and make the run. After we visit Ziz, we can hearth back to the Sunrock Retreat. The blueprints, though, maybe we should double check where some of this turns in. Oh, okay. At the border. Okay, so the shredding machine kill quest goes to the border. Garenzo's orders and the Super Reaper 6000 blueprints go to Ziz. All right, this guy will kill. Well, between these three quests, that might get us level 26. And that'd be a good time to go to Hillsbred because stopping in the Undercity, we should be able to train our level 26 skills. What's up? There's the blueprint, sir. Oh, he has another quest. Further instructions. This envelope has all the information I was able to snatch as they booted me out the door. Venture company internal documents, some manuals, technical things. Oh, and of course, the Super Reaper 6000 blueprints. Spider Valve has taken up residence at Ratchet in the Barrens. Shouldn't have much trouble finding him. He's a little green fellow. Keep it real. Hey, how you doing? And the unidentified ore. Ah, I knew that I did the right thing by telling Piznik to stay behind. I'm sure the engineers in Undermine will be most interested to look at this. Of course, I'll want to keep a little piece for myself, but what they don't know won't hurt them, yes? Ah, uh, boots we don't need? Have a good one. Alright, I am going to run us out to the border and we will get that one turned in as well. What do you need? Farewell. Alright, that is that for everyone here at the border. We're going to hearth back to Sunrock Retreat. We have two quests that go to Ratchet. So I think my course of action is going to be go to Ratchet, fly over there, get those two quests turned in. From there, fly to Ogremar, jump on the Zeppelin, and get over to the Undercity, train our level 26 skills, and then I think we are going to head into Hillsbrad. Uh, I think that now, now is going to be the time for us to do this. Everything else that we're going to have in Stone Talon can wait a little while, so we'll still be able to come back 
and finish up things like Blood Fury Bloodline and uh, Ordanus. And anything else that comes up. But yeah, I think we're going to get into Hillsbred for a little bit. Have a little bit of change of scenery on the Paladin. Could be nice. Let me know what you guys think. As always, I really appreciate all the support. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And take care of yourselves out there in the real world. And take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth sometime soon. Bye now.